I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by Citadel 21, the Bitcoiner magazine that you need a subscription to, written for plebs, by plebs, with a ton of eclectic Bitcoiner stuff. Each issue only has a thousand prints, so if you want to be this happy, go grab yourself a subscription today at Citadel21.com. And the reason why I'm so bullish on ETH going to proof of stake, okay, is that I'm inspired by the number of wrecked proof of stake projects that you could find on the wrecked leaderboard, okay? And there's something else uh, that I learned being in, in corporate America. It's that what you need, okay, what you need is a, is a very wealthy customer in pain. And that, that's what a business needs to thrive. And Ethereum being the piece of crap that it is, right? Because POS doesn't just stand for proof of stake, it stands for piece of shit. And exactly, you can take a look at the rec leader board and you can see all of these projects, these are all projects that offered governance. They offered stake, they had rules, they had rulers. They told you that they could keep everything safe if you just gave them your money. And this is exactly where Ethereum is going, number one. Number two, they're gonna have the, this new chain that they're going to is called Beacon Chain. That, that's gonna be their stake chain that they're going to, okay? There's currently $33 billion locked in this chain that can't move right now. So the reason, again, why I'm so bullish on this happening is that once and I'd say that maybe this is, this is it, once and for all, we can finally watch Ethereum completely unravel because the DAO, or DAO, however you wanna pronounce it, Look, that, they should have been wrecked right there. They should have been totally wrecked. It was already proven that it couldn't do what it was supposed to do and it was just another shitcoin, okay? And it's actually the worst affinity shitcoin because it requires a whole bunch of other shitcoins to be spawned on top of it to keep it alive. But my point is, is that this is now, I think, a much bigger balloon, right? It's a lot bigger. Got a whole lot more billions of dollars locked in this other chain that can't move until Ethereum moves to it. I'm just very bullish on seeing this completely unravel because they've been stringing everyone along for six years and I'm sorry, but they've got absolutely nothing.